Hi, I'm Trisha Fleischer, a personal trainer at Premier Fitness Systems in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I also am a nutrition coach here at Premier. I am about four days out from my national figure contest, the last show of the year, NPC Nationals, working very hard for the last three years on my journey to my pro card. And so this is my opportunity to tell you a little bit about my story and what got me here today. I um, started on my journey in the fall of 2009. I had worked very hard to help my mother through uh, recovery from cancer treatment. She has a chronic blood cancer and I had knee surgery, my son had surgery and everybody around me needed a lot of care and I really neglected myself and I finally realized at that time that I had really started taking my health for granted when my mother recovered from a stem cell transplant and it was time to get it in gear. So <laughs> that's life for Premier, always activity. So I helped my mother recover and decided in the fall of 2009 that it was time to get back to work and start taking care of me. And what I realized is it, now in hindsight, obviously it's 2020, that the healthier I got and the more I took care of myself, the healthier the people around me became. And that's really what led me to where I am today. Um, I am competing in my 10th figure competition and my fourth national show and so my journey to the stage has been about a two-year process but my journey to my health and fitness has been about a three-year process and a total transformation and I think it's one of the things that makes me love what I do is that I am every person. I have been overweight, carry, I have been a couch potato, I have been unhealthy, I have eaten poorly, I have skipped meals, I've done all do when we get busy with life. And so about three years ago, I started taking care of myself and eating better and use some great tools. Um, the internet is an amazing resource, but so is putting down the fork and picking up the weights. And I got injured and from overrunning and discovered resistance training as a good alternative because I couldn't take the impact of running any longer. And you can see this is what came as a result of that. So I love resistance training. I love to pick things up that are heavy and put them down. And I feel that it adds a lot of uh, stability to your frame and gives you a better appetite. And when you have a better appetite and you feed your body more frequently, that's how muscles develop. It's not from eating Snickers bars and so Today, as a trainer here at Premier, I do a lot of nutrition coaching and help people with their own personal transformations. And um, I try to inspire the people around me and I feel very responsible for caring for myself because I realize that when you look fit and you are fit, people want to know what your secrets are and there aren't any secrets. I do hard work every day. I injure myself. I don't do that intentionally, but I work and move every day at taking care of myself and make it a priority every day. I would tell moms out there that are my age, I'm 43, moms, make an hour for yourself every day because if you're healthier and fitter, your family will be and you are setting an example for your children and it's the perfect opportunity when your kids are young. My son Miles is almost eight and knows that when he sees a Snickers bar, he says, mom, this doesn't make muscles, does it? So I would tell you to think very responsibly about the food that you eat and the way that it impacts your body. I look at food as fuel. I certainly I enjoy good food like anybody else, but when I look at food, I ask it, literally, what are you gonna do for me? Are you gonna make muscles? Are you gonna make me unhealthy? And that's how I make my food choices. And it's not difficult when I think about it like that. I'm not making sacrifices. I'm actually making good decisions for me and my body. And again, I'm influencing people around me because I'm healthy. So those little tiny decisions to eat poorly or to skip meals, are much, much more influential, I think, than people realize and consider. So that's how, that's sort of how I look at my fitness and my health. And I thank you very much for following me and for your support and your interest. And um, please, if you're ever interested in talking about nutrition or starting your own journey to a better health, to starting your own transformation to better health, please contact me at Premier. I'd love to tell you my story because I've been there. I've gone from a size 10 and almost 40 pounds overweight to the fittest I've ever been in my entire life as a 43-year-old mom. So if I can do it with a job and a family, there's no excuses. You can make an hour every day and this is possible.
came up in lights He just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic He feels so unlike everybody else alone In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him But no, he knows the code It's not about the salary It's all about reality and making some noise Making a story Making sure his click stays up That means when he puts it down Tox picking it up Let's go Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much Never concerned with status But still even him starstruck Humble through opportunities Given despite the fact that many misjudge him cause he makes a living from writing raps Put it together himself, now the picture connects Never asking for someone's help, but to get some respect He's only focused on what he wrote, his will is beyond reach And now it all unfolds, the skill of an artist This is 20% skill, 80% fear, be 100% clear Cause Ryu was ill, who would've thought he'd be the one that set the west in flames And I heard him wreck it with the crystal method, name of the game Came back, dropped mega death, took him to church, I like bleach man Why you had the stupidest person